the suicidal thoughts came back. I, I was self-harming again. I'm in a better place now. I think the last few months have been really, really tough. British academic Matthew Hedges has been sentenced to life in prison by a court in the United Arab Emirates. More than 100 academics from around the world have signed a letter urging the United Arab Emirates to release the British student. He's been released and pardoned this morning. We want to get you the very latest... I had no knowledge of, of the outside world. Um, it was a windowless room I was kept in. Whenever I was transported around, I would be blindfolded, handcuffed, ankle cuffs, and I would be transported with guards dressed in black with, with, um, with handguns and machine guns. hundreds if not thousands of British uh, subjects abroad and you know how many of them do we know what's happened in, in their situation how many of them are being mistreated or or tortured if they if they're in a country where it has a known poor human rights record can the government can ministers sit back whilst these injustices can be happening to them why aren't they raised? Why aren't they taken more seriously? And we know many, many, many families who are, who are in a similar situation to what I was last year, and they do not get anywhere near the same publicity for, for any number of reasons. And as a result, their, their relatives' cases are not being heard. Knowing how much that support means, knowing from, from someone on Nazanin's side how, how they can draw strength from, from whatever their activities are doing. You don't know the scope, you don't know the scale of, of what's happening. It is draining, it is so draining. Um, but it's so hard to see, to, to see the scale of, of what progress that can make. Um, and I've told him, I've tried to encourage him, you know, to continue what he's doing because it's the only way, realistically, he's going to be able to, to get her back. Iran should be cited and it should be acknowledged that their behaviour is the same as that of a hijacker. The, the, there, is, there is no other word for it. Their behaviour is, is criminal. I haven't been able to start um, psychological treatment yet. The NHS has been uh, quite difficult. I have been clinically diagnosed with uh, PTSD by uh, multiple uh, specialists. Depression, anxiety, of course, as well. I try and just, you know, doing my work, cleaning, cooking, commuting up to Durham, doing the teaching. I, I try to be as as normal as that, but understanding I have still been shaped by that experience. So I have severe difficulty going to central London. I, I, it, it, it's, it's physically difficult to do so. Um, so whilst I know eventually I, I will have to be able to do it, I will have to overcome those fears and, and the effects of what's happened, but you can't force that. Um, it's not normal to have a panic attack when you go in central London, or it might be for some people, I suppose. Um, but that, that scares me, that deters me from, from doing it. So trying to be normal, 100%, but I also have to accept the limitations that in some ways I'm not normal, at least for a while.